family. My name is Aisha May and this is Before I get started and before I forget, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, like, and if you have something to say, leave a comment. When I tell people that I live in an RV, sometimes I get, oh, that's really cool. But a lot of times it's, oh, wow, are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm okay. I love living in the RV. We live in a 30-foot Class C motorhome with no slides at all. That can make things a little bit tight because the RV is only eight feet wide. So um, yeah, without any slides to sort of push things out, it can get a little bit tight, but we're used to it. And it wasn't so bad until we got Benji. Now that we have Benji, I'm considering whether or not we should get a new RV. Um, maybe a bigger fifth wheel or a class a with a toy hauler or something but um that would cause us to probably triple our payments so not so sure if that's the way to go because the whole thing about this whole lifestyle is that we really lowered our cost of living when we had the house it probably cost around 2500 dollars a month to you know pay all the utilities and everything now, it wasn't so bad compared to what some people pay, but now I would say that we're probably around the fifteen to seventeen hundred dollar a month range, and that can easily change depending on what area um, you're in in the country. There are some places that are only three hundred and fifty dollars a month, and then there are other places like if you're in San Diego or LA or let's say Key West that are going to cost you eighteen hundred dollars a month, or maybe even more. So. It can really vary, but you control what the costs are. So if I were to lose my job tomorrow and we were in a place that was a little bit more expensive, we could leave. Same thing with my husband. He loses his job, we can up and leave. It's not a problem. Um, I don't, we don't have that stress. I know that when COVID first hit, I was thinking to myself, oh my God, if we were in the house right now, I would be so stressed out about about finances, uh, even though I didn't lose my job and I work for a really great employer who allowed everybody to work from home, um, there are people who face certain issues. So I'm so glad that that's not an issue of ours. So I started this lifestyle about um, a year and a half ago. It was before COVID hit. And at, this, at that point, we had already been homeschooling, not due to um, the RV lifestyle or anything, just because we didn't find that the public school system was a good fit for Kyle. So we had been homeschooling him. This is the third year. If you ever want any videos on that, let me know and I'll be happy to make one. Um, but yeah, so we had been homeschooling for a while and just thought that you know the money that we were spending on the house and kyle was homeschooled the oldest had left the house i have hip dysplasia and because of my hip dysplasia i'm it's very difficult for me to walk up and down stairs and it's hard for me to take the cold so there are periods of time where i was only really utilizing one to two room i'm sorry two to three rooms in the house so all the rest of the space was really just unused and um we just thought that it was a complete waste i need to be in warm weather and i can't be like i said going upstairs and i just really need to be able to control the environment that's around me so that i can actually live my life before we got into RVing and I was working in the office, I was literally going to work and then going home just to get myself together to go to work the next day. And then on my weekends, just laying around and getting myself together so that I can go to work on Monday because it was so difficult for me catching the train and walking downtown and doing different things. So um, it was really hard for me. Now in the lifestyle that we have, 
I do have hard times. I have times when I'm in pain and everything, but instead of that few hours, you know, that I was spending walking to the train station or walking from the train station and going to work, I use that time to do what makes me happy. So I can use that time to go for a walk or a hike or um, riding bikes or just doing anything that I'd like to do. I love that part of RVing. And it's really made it a lot easier because like I said, 30 feet. So it really only takes about 10 steps to get from one end of the RV to the other. And of course there's only one step to get out of the RV. So um, it really has made a huge, huge difference in my life. So another thing that I like about RVing is that we can just pick up at any moment and leave. There have been several times just during our time here in Arizona where we decided, oh, let's go. Oh, when we went to New Mexico, that was on a whim. We went to Pace in Arizona on a whim. We've gone other places on a whim. We've gone to Georgia on a whim. We've gone to northwestern part of Florida, in the Panhandle on a whim. Oh, we went to Colorado on a whim. So it's really nice to be able to pick up and just go where you want. And because we don't have the cost of the house, it makes it a lot easier to be able to afford this lifestyle. How do we do this? I work a full-time job. I've been at my firm for a while and my husband picks up temporary assignments from agencies all over. And it's actually not very difficult to do. Any, you can do anything really if you put your mind to it and you're willing to sacrifice. I don't have everything that I want to have. Like I said, I want that you know, $150,000 RV. Yes, I would really, really like that RV. But at the same time, I ask myself, is that something that I really need or is it something that I want? Later on down the line, it might be something that we decide, you know what, we've got to get it. Let's just do it and we have to get a good buy on it. But today, it's not something that is absolutely necessary. Does it get tight? Yes. This is the living room family. This is it. There's nothing else to it. This is it. I'm the, the camera is on the dining room table, which is right in front of me. The booth is right in front of me. So um, we could do it, but I like not arguing about money. I like not stressing about money. You know, I've been able to fund this music career of mine this year, 2020 and 2021, because I have extra money that I can do, I can, I can play with. Is it worth it for me to have a large house and do all of that? No, I, I really love our lifestyle. And if you were to ask me if I see myself going back to a traditional lifestyle anytime soon, and when I say anytime soon, I'm talking about like within the next five, 10 years, hell no. I don't have any intentions of doing it. My family doesn't have any intentions on doing of doing it. Now, if we ever have to be stationary, then we'll, we may go to the bigger RV. But for now, I just love the freedom. So that's about it. And if you have any questions or you want to hear more about this RV lifestyle, I'm talking about a breakdown of the cost, the places that we've been, maybe a quick Q&A with Kyle to see what his input is, homeschooling. And if you wanna hear about hip dysplasia, let me know. A day in the life of HMA in the RV, how to drive the RV, so many things. And yes, I have driven the RV before many times. I've dumped the tank before. I've hooked up the electric before. I've done pretty much everything. So um, even though my husband makes it really easy and I don't have to do very much, I have done it so I know how to do it. So don't think that I'm just sitting here and doing absolutely nothing. So in the meantime, family, stay healthy, stay blessed, and live your best possible life.